For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. We continued our trip north along I-75. We were so excited we arrived in Michigan. We stayed at Bay County Pinconing Park in Pinconing, Michigan. The park is on Saginaw Bay, which is part of Lake Huron. Our drive into the campground provides a view of the campground entrance. There are 62 campsites and we were in site number one. We had electric and water hookups. The site was small and wet on two sides, which turned out to be nice because those two sides were private. We ended up pulling in and had to borrow an electric extension cord so that we could plug in. The staff were very friendly and accommodating. The water was interesting because it had three campsites hooked to one faucet, but overall everything worked great. The park was very comfortable. There was a boat ramp in the park and many campers had boats that they put in most days. We were told that fish were biting and there were lots of boating activity. There was also a small beach area and people were swimming. I tested the water and it wasn't too cold. Well Rhonda, I mean I know you at least have heard of Lake Huron. Yes. What do you know about it? Uh, it's big. It's one of the Great Lakes. That I know. Um, I'm going to have to go read up. Do you know anything about it, Joe? Well, the only thing I would think of when I hear the name is like the French fur traders <laughs> riding their canoes through here trading with the Indians. Oh, yeah. It is pretty cool here. We're out on a little dock. Um, walk down a path from our campground. So this is one of the trails we're walking down. It's nice and shaded. It's got a gravel trail. It's been really wet around here. So, but this is actually nice and dry today. So this is another part of the trail that actually has been closed off because of the flooding. So we're actually able to go a certain distance. It looks pretty wet up here. It's very slippery. I think I caught that on camera. Okay, this is the end of the road for us today. Yep, we are not going through there. Maybe yeah. the next time we come, it'll be dry. If this wasn't all flooded, this would be the perfect trail. Well, a good trail because it's, I think it was like a mile and a quarter mm -hmm. one way. Yeah. So then, you know, the 10,000 steps wouldn't be a big deal if you could use this trail. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Now we got to go back and suffer through those couple of slippery spots. And watch out for the uh, poison ivy. Yeah, the poison ivy. It's actually growing up through the um, path. We took a day trip to nearby Bay City State Recreation Area. We checked out the campground and it looked very nice. It's almost a real beach. Bunch of boats out there. That seems like a fun place. There 
must be a line here somewhere that says boats are okay on this end. While there, we hiked a part of the Tabico Marsh Trail. It was a beautiful park with nice paved trails, red birds, flowers, wood ducks, views of the lake, boardwalks, and the lookout tower. We're walking through a big swamp and there's the woods. This trail we're on I guess is raised up through here. It's mm -hmm. obviously a nice walking trail. Very nice. But it's all swamp on both sides. Mm -hmm. well, at least that's what Florida people call it. <laughs> Marsh, I believe, is what it's called here. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel.